Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It seems like fears of the coronavirus have been really widespread recently and affecting everything gaming industry included. And the GDC 2020 which was going to take place this month which is March is postponed due to these fears. And they say that they're going to make it happen later this year, probably in summer. So here is the update that they wrote in their official website. After close consultation with our partners in the game development industry and community around the world, we've made the difficult decision to postpone the game developers conference this March. Having spent the past year preparing for the show with our advisory boards, speakers, exhibitors and event partners, we are genuinely upset and disappointed not to be able to host you at this time. We want to thank all our customers and partners of their support, open discussion and encouragement as everyone has been reminding us. Great things happen when the community comes together and connects at GDC. For this reason, we fully intend to host a GDC event later in the summer. We will be working with our partners to finalize the details and we'll share more information about our plans in the coming weeks. The biggest partners of this event are Intel, Nvidia, Epic Games and Sony. So is this going to affect probably Sony announcing something in GDC? I don't think it will because Sony has been taking this approach of releasing news about their consoles and games more in, in a fashion like Nintendo is doing its direct events. So I don't think Sony is going to release anything and I don't think we're going to miss any major information from Sony at least. And that is expected actually because we haven't seen or heard about any Sony news in a while, especially regarding the PlayStation 5 and I think they are just shutting their mouths for some reason. Might be ominous, just jokes here. But yeah, it will probably affect a little bit more Intel because they are rather in a difficult situation these days with the huge success fully deserved that AMD is enjoying these days due to their Ryzen processors. Not so great in the GPU department because mainly the problems that their drivers are suffering from. So this probably could have been a good opportunity for Intel to announce something new and exciting to gamers and PC market in general. Epic Games, I don't think there is anything really interesting in there. And then we have another piece of news, obviously also related to the C virus. And this time it's from Plague Incorporation and its game that has been removed from the Chinese App Store and Steam in China. So this is just regional, but you know, China is a huge market for gaming, especially for mobile gaming. So that's really not good news for them. And they are saying here in a statement, we have some very sad news to share with our China-based players. We have just been informed that Plague Incorporation includes content that is illegal in China as determined by the Cyberspace Administration of China and has been removed from the China App Store. The situation is completely out of control. This is a very popular game and you can guess from the name itself what the game is about and they are saying that they have over 130 million players here in this statement. So yeah, and they are saying that it's the number one strategy simulation game worldwide and has been 
the most popular paid game in China for many years. So this is a huge blow for Plague. And then the last piece of news that I have is about Borderlands 3, which is going to release on March 13th. You're going to be able to play Borderlands 3 on Steam. It's also big news because this game is very big. It has been anticipated for a long time. And then the Epic Game Store exclusivity made people really angry. But now it's clear that this exclusivity was only for six months. I think this makes sense because this is such a huge game and Epic Game Store would have had to pay a huge amount to the game developer in order to keep it as the exclusive game on their launcher or to keep it for a longer time, probably like one year, like what happened with Metro Exodus. It will be interesting to see how this game will sell. I think it will sell a lot because it's popular and it has received rather positive reviews from people who have played it. And it will also put in the test some of the strange claims that Randy Pitchford has said when the game released. And uh, he basically said that Borderlands 3 sold something like six times more than Borderlands 2. I'm not sure about the exact number here, but even the comparison itself was nonsense because you cannot compare a game that has released way back in the past to a new game that has released only recently. And gaming in general has gone a long way forward and it has become way more popular than it were back when Borderlands 2 has released. And I don't think Randy Pitchford will have the courage to compare the sales on Steam to their counterparts on the Epic Games Store. I don't think he's going to do that. But yeah, it is what it is and we will probably know about the sales sooner or later. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a good one.